And yeah. I thought, this might be the first time flatulence was foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be. I think it might be the first time flat there's flatulence in a, in a period film as well. Well, many films. Is there flatulence in many films? I think there needs to be more. Yeah, there should be, shouldn't there? I mean, it's a good su such a joke. part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't and get... of any good marriage, you know. <laughs> it's a part of life. Everybody. Yes, everybody does. They Lovely to see you. And you. And you. Hi. Congrats on this. Thank, Thank you. you. I love this movie. What I love about it is that I've never anticipated a period piece to play as contemporary as this does. Yes. We agree. Part of that's a little startling because, I mean, if you were to go back in time and tell these people, hey, over a century from now, all of these gender issues that we're talking about now, all of this sterility is still going to be an issue. Yeah. They'd go, you're nuts. They'll fix this by then. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And we haven't. Not so much. We were exactly where we were then? We weren't exactly where we were then, but you know, but the conversations are still being had. True. So, I mean, so yeah, I think it is, it's extra, I mean, the director talked about this like a Trojan horse movie, and I think that's kind of true. You know, you think you're going in to see one sort of film, and it just kind of takes you right off on a whole other thing, because it does feel very contemporary and modern, and, and talking about gender, and talking about sexuality, and talking about feminism, and you know. Sure. It's great. I also want to show this. I think it's great marriage counseling, too. My yeah. kids someday, when they're considering marriage, I want them to watch this movie because there yeah. are some things you get right, some things you get wrong, and then some things I identify in myself with Willie that I think I need correcting. Wow. What? Not a lot. It's not like I'm locking people in rooms for crying out loud. But, you know, all of us can be selfish from time to time. Yes. Yeah. I suppose the best thing, uh, mar marriage guidance-wise, is, is when a marriage is over, when a relationship... <laughs> Yeah, that's done. true, actually. Yeah. Not to linger, you know. And I think I think that we we just talking about this that that it worked really well at the t for for a time, as so many marriages do. And then when it's done, thank God we're allowed to divorce now. Yes. <laughs> right. There, there's a scene that I, I you know it says so much that I hang on to this one scene. But early on in the film, we know things are going to go off the rails when your character lets out an enormous fart. In right. Front of it. Yes. And said, uh, "Please excuse a, a gross example of intimacy. I'm butchering the line, but it's something right. to that effect." Yes. And yeah. I thought this might be the first time flatulence was foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be. I think it might be the first time flat, there's flatulence in a in a period film as well. Well, many films. Is there flatulence in many films? I think there needs to be more. Yeah, there should be, shouldn't there? I mean, it's a good su such a joke. part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't and get... of any good marriage, you know. <laughs> it's a part of life. Everybody. Yes, everybody does. Yeah. Exactly. Is there a favorite moment uh, on set that 10, 20 movies from now, you're going to look back to the making of this movie and you go, I loved that day? Um, I loved working with Dominic. <laughs> That was nice, wasn't it? No, I mean, but I think, I think you know, generally the, the, the relationship between Willie and Colette was so fascinating and they were so kind of sparkly and they were two fiercely intelligent, fiercely independent, unbelievably charismatic people who argued an awful lot. And so, you know, there's some great scenes of us just sort of bickering. And again, just this power struggle between these two actually very powerful people. I, I found, I just loved playing. Amen. How about you? I remember we had a day on a train which was really beautiful because it was there was a lot of breeze and I was wearing this enormous fat suit so I was gra gra grateful for any time we were out of the studio and with a breeze and uh, it was the most beautiful train and I can't remember what scene we were doing but anyway we it was just lovely being on this train and then we went along and the sparks were flying out of the chimney it was a steam train <laughs> and they landed in this field. this was in Hungary in a field of, of, um, of dry corn and we set light to the entire field and it was Funniest thing I've ever seen was watching a lot of film people trying to become agricultural firefighters and, and, and put, <laughs> right. this, put this fire out. But it was uh, hasten to add the fire brigade did get there. It was all fine and nobody was hurt. I don't think the fire brigade got did there. Did they not? They, no, I, think, <laughs> I think the props department. Got oh, was there. it the props department? Yeah. Oh, there you go. But it was, I, I remember that. So it was such a beautiful day, and it was the, the whole summer was. It was just a beautiful summer, and it was. I, I loved it, and it was that was all part of it. The cornfields and the. Going the, off period, the period stuff was, it was just great. And you have to think it made the crew bond together all that much more. I'm sure it must have done, yeah. <laughs> right. Nothing like a fire for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe, turn on your notifications, and click right here to see more awesome videos. Do it right now. Popcorn for each time. More? Keep clicking. Good job. <laughs>